Hello, hope you're doing good and welcome to my top link landing page tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use one of the best linking bio tools. So the first thing you want to do once on top link dot at, you're going to simply tap where you see the search bar right here and you're going to enter in your email address. After you have done that, you're going to tap on get started for free. Once you have tapped on get started for free, you will be redirected to this page on which you can continue signing up using your Google account, Facebook account or your Apple account. After you are signed up, you will be redirected to this page. On this page, you can choose a template that you would like to use. So you can see the different templates right here and you can also see the different categories if we were to go over to the left hand menu option. For example, you could tap on business and you can see the different categories. If you would like to create a landing page like a website, you could tap on light website from the top left hand corner. Then from there, you can scroll down and you can see the different examples that you can choose from, as you can see right here. And again, you have different categories depending on the business that you're in. So for example, you can tap on food and you can see the different templates that they recommend right here. And you could also tap on finance and you can see the different templates right here. So it all depends. You have numerous options and that is a definite standout feature when it comes on to this platform. But let's say for example sake, I would like to use this one. All I would need to do is simply tap on the template that I would like to use. After you have done that, you'll be redirected to a new page and you're going to tap on choose. After tapping on choose, you'll be redirected to the editor page. On the editor page, you'll now be able to customize your landing page to your liking. So for example, let's say we would like to change the avatar pick right here. All you would need to do is simply tap on it. After you have done that from there, you could upload your own image. So you could tap on upload image and you can upload your own image right here. You can also change the size of the avatar as you can see there. You could change it to medium, large or extra large as you can see there. You have numerous options you can choose from. Then you are going to tap on save changes. Now after doing that, you can tap on the about me section right here. After you have tapped on the about me section, if you would like to add an image, you can do that by tapping right here where you see link text. You can also edit the about me text right here by tapping here or here. And you can also enter in a website link right here. So for example, if you would like to link back to a website, you can do that. So let's say I would like to link back to a website just for example sake. So I'm going to be using this website link. So I'm going to go here. All I would need to do is simply paste the link. Then after you have pasted the link, you're going to tap on save changes. Once you have done that, you can tap on my blog and you could enter in your blog link if you have a blog link or you can tap on action right here. Let's say you would like them to call whenever they tap on that link or you like them to send an SMS. You can select any one of these actions as you can see right here. So if it is a case that you would like someone to call, you could tap on call, then you could enter in the phone number. And if it is to send an SMS, it is a similar thing. You could enter in your phone number right there. And if it is a case that you would like them to send email, you can enter in your email address that you would like to receive the emails on, as you can see right here. So you have quite a few options to choose from, as you can see here. After you're finished, all you'll need to do is tap on save changes. And also, if it is a case that you would like to remove one of these sections, you can also do that. So all you would need to do is tap on the section, then tap on action in the bottom left hand corner, then tap on delete. After you have done that, you'll tap on delete once more. And you can see that that section has now been removed. And if it is a case that you would like to, for example, move this content box above, uh, above the other one, all you'll need to do is simply tap on it. So you're going to simply tap on the three 
boxes right here or the three lines right here and you'll simply drag and place it where you want and if you would like to add another content box all you have to do is tap on add block after tapping on add block from there if it is a text you'd like to add you can tap on text if it is a link you'd like to add you can add tap on link and by scrolling down you can see the other options but with these options you would either need to be on the pro plan to add them or the business plan so you can add payment plans with this with this platform so for example you could collect payment via paypal or stripe but you would need to be on the business plan as you can see right here we could tap on form and payments but you need to be on the business plan let's check out how much for the business plan so as you can see here once you are signed up we are on the free plan which will give us access to pre-designed themes and so on the business plan you would need to pay six dollars per month and with that you can see the different features that you'll get access to you'll get their crm system you'll be able to set up automated emails you'll also be able to collect leads and payment notification you can add countdown timer and you'll also get an ssl certificate for your domain and you can also see right here their pro plan is for three dollars per month and you can see the different features that you will get with the pro plan also so if you decide to go onto any one of those plans you can see the different payment options so let's say for example i were to just fill out our bet here just removes quickly so you can see how it looks once it is finished so i'm just going to be removing these and then i'm going to be filling in for example you could add your online store link right here then tap on save changes after you have done that you will need to add your brand name so I'll tap right here and I could call it simple answers just for example sake. And keep in mind if you'd like to change the background color, you can do that by tapping on the color box right here. So if I wanted to change the background color or the text color, I can do that by tapping on it. You can tap on sections here and then from there you can edit the background color as I was saying earlier by tapping there. If it is a case that you wanted to add an image, you could do that also. But to add an image, you'd have to be on the paid plan. After I'm finished doing that, you can tap where you see add links to your page. If you'd like to add multiple links, you can do that by tapping here. You could edit the text, but I'm just going to remove this text. So I'll select it right here and then I'm going to tap on action and I'm going to tap on delete, then delete once more. Now after doing that, all you'll need to do is scroll up and from there you could tap on publish in the top right hand corner. After tapping on publish, you can enter your username and you will be provided with a free tap link. You. After doing that, you can tap right here where you see username and you could enter your username or whichever name you'd like to be added right there. And that will be your free URL that will be provided by top link as you can see right here. And keep in mind in the future you could tap on statistics in the top left hand corner. And then from there you'll be able to see your page views and so on. You'll also be able to see your leads if you decide to go onto the paid plan by tapping on leads. You can also set up or change your theme by tapping on design in the top left hand corner you can see the different themes right here that you can choose from and you can also tap on add-ons to see the different integrations that you can add in the future keep in mind to add these integrations you need to be on the paid plan there are only a few that you can add for free so for example you can add cookie files privacy you could add that by simply tapping on publish you could add it to your to your landing page as you can see right here so all you'll need to do is tap on publish then you'll tap on activate to add it and it can be added as you can see right there it is now on but most of these you'll need to be on a paid plan to add them as you can see right there hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching 
and if you want the QR code you could tap on QR code right here and after doing that you'll be able to download your QR code as you can see right there if it is a case that you would like to add it to your website you could tap on website widget then from there you could copy the link and paste it on your website thanks for watching